Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit. One drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. How do you draw highlights? That's a question I hear quite often. I'll try to answer it here at Draw Tip Tuesday, trying to fit it in a few minutes video. Let's pick up an everyday subject, a fork. Well, drawing a fork means tapping into the part of the brain that looks at negative spaces, the spaces around your subject. I see that I am drawing a shorter fork than the one that's in front of me, but hey, it's just an impression and I'm not here to replicate that fork. To capture the highlights on a metal object like this, you actually need to make sure to leave whites wherever you see a shimmer, shine or reflection in your subject. By not drawing the highlights and by emphasizing on the darker shades that you see, you will get an accent on those light bits. So I am closely looking at the shadows and shades that I see in my subject. Often right next to a bright reflection, you'll see a pretty dark shade, so focus on these. There are many more elaborate ways to color your subject in a more precise way, but by hatching you can accomplish a lot and you don't need to be super skilled to give this a try. Don't forget to add the drop shadow too, to make your subject sit on a surface rather than float on the paper. I'll do it again, drawing a spoon. Spoons are like bended mirrors. Most things you see are reflections. In fact, I can see the frame of the window reflected and even the building at the other side of the street if I look closely. It can be super interesting to draw all those tiny reflections that you see. You could create drawings like Escher did. But again, I'll keep it simple and focus on the varying shades that I see. It helps to squint your eyes to see those shades. It looks kind of weird perhaps, but now if I would add just a dash of paint, it'll make more sense. Again, leaving whites for the lighter bits is key here. Keep looking at your subject as you do this. Don't assume anything, just paint the darker bits. Again, add a drop shadow to give the subject weight and context. I'm definitely not a watercolor expert and I'm sure there's different ways to do this, but I do know that just a tiny bit of watercolor can make a big difference. Just a thin watery layer of color adds to the metal feel of the fork drawing. I hope that this quick tutorial was of any help and that you'll give it a go yourself. If you want to learn more about watercolors and drawing from life, Go to sketchbookschool.com and sign up for one of the classes.